when Coach Freeman was named the guy to succeed Brian Kelly as a head coach at Notre Dame, I know personally I was over the moon. I had been a big fan of Coach Freeman going back to his days at Cincinnati. What do the Fighting Irish have in Coach Freeman at Notre Dame? Well, I think they got a coach that cares for him and loves for him at the end of the day, not just football, but just as, you know, people. Like, I think that's the biggest thing about what misconceptions about college football. I'm not sure about the NFL yet because I'm not there, but at the end of the day, we're still like athletes or not. We're at the end of the day, we're still people. Like we're still human beings that do the same thing that, you know, that, that regular students do at college. So I feel like it's good to have a coach that can relate to you and, you know, be there for you whenever it's time. So, you know, that's not on, that has to do with football, you know, just be there for you when it's time that you need, you need help or you need someone to talk to, you know, I feel like coach Freeman, he does that. He does that well. Like he doesn't address unless when I was there, he did not address himself as like a head man or a head figure or whatever. He was, you know, relate, he had a relationship with every player. And so it was, it was not, it wasn't uncomfortable to go up to him and, you know, ask him a question or, you know, um, ask if he could, you know, look over this um, drill that we did. And so that, you know, to get, see what, you know, what we did wrong or whatever. So it wasn't, it's not weird doing that with Coach Freeman. So that's what kind of what I feel like he brings to the, to Notre Dame is these players that are comfortable with him. They're not afraid to like, go talk to him or ask him questions and stuff like that. So I think it's in a, uh, he's going in the right direction for Notre Dame and I'm excited to see what they, what they got in store. I know. Uh, it's a lot going on there. Of course, offense coordinator Tommy Reese retained. And of course, uh, Drew Pine and Tyler Buckner are going to be fighting for that starting quarterback job. Yeah. But one, one of those dudes is going to have to take snaps from behind center when Notre Dame opens up against Freeman's alma mater, Ohio State. Mm. So I'm going to ask you this way. What should Ohio State fans be worried about with Notre Dame coming into the shoe? The Notre Dame, Notre Dame football team as a whole. Like, just be worried about what them boys got in store because I know it's a different type of mindset that they're going through right now. It's more of a competitive mindset that they're going to go, you know, go to war, go to fight no matter what it is. So I feel like no matter who the quarterback is, no matter who the running back is, no matter who anybody is on that field, like every single player is going to be fitted in a, like fitted to go. Like it's not going to be any if ands, and buts about it. Like them boys are going to go to play. And like at the end of the day, you're going to see what the results are. But that, I just know the way that Coach Freeman and I just know, know them boys there at Notre Dame, it's just like there is no quit in them. It don't, it don't matter who they play. They play Ohio State the first game, like they, they're going to see them like the faces opponent they see the next week. So I know they're going to give them, give them their all and, you know, just go out there and be the best that they can be. Thanks for watching this video. And remember, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any other videos on the number one ranked show YouTube channel.